Okay, our next topic is algebraic process. Now we are going to another um, another aspect of mathematics. Now under algebraic process, we have change of subject or formula, just as we can see here. So a change a formula is an equation containing more than one variable, and it describes the relationship between the variables. For example, the volume of a hemisphere is given by capital letter V, which is equal to two over three by R cubed, where R is the radius of the hemisphere and V is the volume. From the equation, we can see that capital letter V, that is our V, is the subject of the formula. Now, we'll now take some example. Using that uh, volume of an hemisphere, we'll now make R the subject of the formula. We said V is equal to 2 all over 3 pi. R cube. Now we are here we are being told to make how the subject of the formula. It's very easy. All we just do is the first thing we'll do is we'll cross multiply. Because this one is just like v all over one is equal to two all over three pi r cube. So if we should cross multiply, we'll be having three times v times v is equal to 2 pi r cube. Now we have it 3 v, which is equal to 2 pi r cube. Mind you, it is this r cube, it is this r we are looking for. So we we'll now divide both sides by 2 pi. Now be 3 v all over 2 pi is equal to 2 pi r cube all over 2 pi, that is, divide both sides by 2 pi. So this will give us, um, this one will cancel out this one. So now 2 pi will cancel out 2 pi, now we have a 3v all over 2 pi is equal to r cube. So we can, from here, find the cube root of both sides. That will now be cube root of r cube is equal to uh, 3v all over 2 pi. Then you find the cube root. From our indices, um, something like this is just, um, it's like we have a, a, uh, a, into bracket, now having 3, this is about 3, is equal to, is the same thing as, uh, a, raised to power 3 all over 3, which is equal to a raised to power 1, which is equal to a. That's from, a lot of indices that has to do with something like this m is for n. So applying this to this, we'll be having this one or cancel out this. So now we're having r is equal to q root of 3b all over 2 pi. Our second example is to make h the subject of the formula from the equation we have in here. So what we are going to do is just, we are going to bring this uh, a, a part of the equation to this other side of the equation, that is to bring it, make it across the equal to sign. So that will be s minus 2 pi r squared is equal to 2 pi r h. So what we are we are going to be having here is uh, now we are only interested in h that is we want to make h the subject of the formula. So what we are going to do is to our only h on this right hand of the equation, we are going to divide both sides by 2 pi r. So that will be s minus 2 pi r squared all over 2 pi r is equal to 2 pi 
r inch all over 2 pi r. That is, we are dividing both sides. Divide both sides by 2 pi r. This two we cancel this two, this part we cancel this part. So all together we are having something like this, which is equal to s minus two pi r square all over two pi r is equal to h. We can break this one further to be s divided by two pi r two pi r is equal to uh, minus minus two pi r square all over two pi r is equal to h. So we can this two we cancel this two pi we cancel this two pi. Then this r we cancel this. It should not be two minus one, which will be one. So we will now be having s all over two pi r minus r. We only having how here yeah, is equal to each. Which example number three. Make L the subject of the formula from T is equal to 2 pi square root of L over G. Now this square root is taking care of L and G. So are we are interested interested in making L our subject of formula. So what are we going to do? The first thing we want to do is to remove this 2 pi and how can that be done? We are going to divide both sides by 2 pi. So that will be t all over 2 pi is equal to 2 pi square root of L over G all over 2 pi. That is, we are dividing both sides. Side by two pi. So this two pi will cancel this out. So we are having t all over two pi is equal to what? Uh, square root of L over G. Now for us to remove this L over square, uh, this square root, we are going to square both sides. That means you are using the principle of indices that I actually explained the other time. Uh, for this one, we are going to be making use of um, okay. This well, we are going to square both sides. Square both sides. If we should square both sides, that will be t all over two pi square. Is equal to what? That will be square root of L over G squared. Mind you, you have to recollect that A, square root of A, that is M, M is the same thing as A raised to power M, I raised to power N over M. Okay, so what we are going to have here is we'll not be having something like this. We'll be having t square all over square square over two is four four pi square is equal to what? This square this square root is two two over two is one so we'll not be having l over g. And mind you, our main interest is still L. So what we are going to do now is to multiply both sides by G. We are going to multiply both sides by G. Multiply both sides by G. If we should multiply both sides by G, that will be T squared all over 4 pi square times g is equal to l over g times 
G. This J will cancel out this. So we'll be left with L on the right hand side. That'll be G T square all over four pi square is equal to L, which is the final answer. To our next topic, which is variation, that is under our algebraic process, uh, process, we have variation, and uh, under variation, we have different types of variation. We have the direct variation, we have the partial variation, we have the inverse variation, the partial variation, and the joint variation. That is the one that combines direct and uh, inverse variation. So we'll be starting with direct variation. And what direct variation does? Um, when the ratio of a variable x to another variable is always constant, then x is said to vary directly as y. Such relationship is written as x is proportional to y. And that proportionality sign is written as this. It's proportional to y, which means that x varies directly as y. The relationship x is proportional, directly proportional to y can be written in the equation in the equation form as x is equal to ky. We have the proportionality sign is replaced by equal to and k, which is the constant of the variation or proportionality. Therefore, k is equal to x all over y. Now take some example. Take some example. Our example number one says P varies directly as a square of Q. That is P varies directly as a square of Q. P varies directly as a square of Q. Therefore we can just first say that P is equal to K Q square. You see that? This proportionality sign has been exchanged with